Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane and today I'm going to do a quick Toy Hacks video from ToyHacks.com because I received this wonderful sheet of foil backing decals for this fantastic figure. I know it's in uh, car mode, well vehicle mode instead of uh, the uh, robot mode I usually display but um, I felt a little lazy. So we're going to take a look at uh, Grapple before and after and then uh, if you stick to the end you can get the discount code for 10% off at DJC Collectibles something that uh, Derek has been uh, kind enough to provide uh, for uh, my viewers so I'm really happy to have an official sponsor now but before I do the toy hacksing please check out my voice acting spotlight the main feature of my channel something I'm rather proud of so now let's take a look at Earthrise Grapple before and after the paint job Hoist. Prime, we want to construct a full-size tower. The energy benefits would be enormous! And a quick look at Grapple before I apply the toy hacks. Fantastic robot mode. He's really nice. I enjoy every bit of... Except, you know, for the you know, pegs. Uh, that's, you know, been the main problem for this. But I love uh, the face sculpt. The articulations are good. The transformation is amazing. The accessories are really nice. I mean, that claw, you can put it in the hand looks really good uh, you know the the cannon it's no complaint about this mold I mean maybe you know very orange so toy hacks is gonna break that out but I can't wait for the windows of course and everything else and I it's a fantastic absolutely fantastic mold now for the foil itself looks really good and it, of course being foil it reflects my ring light completely so I haven't looked yet where everything goes, but you can tell the windows here are going to be very interesting and uh, the construction uh, warning signs or, you know, tape line, whatever. It's going to be fantastic. I'm already excited. So final look at Grapple before. And here's Grapple after the decals and he's fantastic. And you know what? When you see the vehicle mode, he's even more fantastic, but straight out of uh, the paint shop, whatever. Um, the window is pretty good. We'll see more of the side windows in uh, car mode. Uh, you have a enhancement here for the shoulder. It kind of breaks the orange. And that's the big thing with this set. It breaks the orange. The eye decals, extremely hard to apply. I had to warm them up pretty good to, for them to wrap around the actual mold. But they look pretty good. And I think I did a good job. Uh, nothing for the headlights, but you do have uh, the plate here. Uh, grapple uh, PLE and then you have the option of grapple PEL or 3EL uh, 3P anyway the thing and uh, you have the warning uh, labels or the you know yellow tape whatever and you have the arm be careful don't apply this one here because there's a hole for the blast effect port so that's uh, you know kind of it's I messed up and I had to reapply it I'm gonna remove the gun I want to show you the hands properly there's that silver line here so it's one two three and then four decals and i don't think it's completely necessary i could have gone without this i mean it doesn't look bad it just it breaks here a little bit you know they should have you know completely covered the, the surrounding i don't know I, I maybe it was a g1 thing um not sure uh the hip decals are pretty good here you have the crotch plate you have this that wraps around the articulation. Really sweet idea. The uh, shin, really good. And then you have that little uh, sign here, that little thing that goes on the uh, the stand. Uh, really good. The foot gets that new decal, and then the toes get those thing that will translate really well in uh, um, vehicle mode. And the same thing for the side of the leg. That translates pretty good. Uh, nothing for the actual head. You know, there's no option to put it black if you want to have a black head like some G1 animation errors. Uh, maybe there's an upgrade kit for that. And this will we'll take we'll take a look at this whole thing in vehicle mode. I'm actually really pleased with uh, the robot mode, but honestly, um, let's take a look at the vehicle mode because it's absolutely stunning. Yeah, I suppose you're right, Hoist. 
And one quick look at grapple before I do the paint job. I love this mold. I have three of them and hopefully that they're going to do a, another one for hauler because I'll definitely get it. He's fantastic. You know, very orange. So we're going to have to break that with some toy hacks. I can't wait to see what the windows look like. Uh, maybe they're going to do something with the crane. I haven't looked it up yet. What everything does, you know, the, you know there's a, you know, placeholder for uh, the cannon, the gun, fantastic mold, very orange. And, uh, you know, I had to sand the pins down, you know, for obvious reasons. But I really can't wait to see what it looks like after I do the uh, the facelift, the toy hacksing, whatever. And uh, yeah, so final look before. It was magnificent for a little while, wasn't it, Hoist? And now grapple in crane mode. I'm absolutely awestruck with this whole kit. The amount of details that this kit adds is insane. It, it meh, it, I don't know what to say. It's gorgeous. I'm gonna remove the gun, you know, cause there's nothing for the weapon. So that's a little disappointing. Nothing for the, the claw. I wish there was something, but you know, with the rest, you don't need it. So first thing you have a sticker here for the Ellie construction. It's optional. It's actually written optional, but I like it. So why not? Um, here, I wish it would have been a bit larger because if you take a look, you can see underneath the painted details that were with the original design. Um, it doesn't cover quite perfectly. It's just a little too thin. And on top, you have hydraulics for the crane. And I think these look absolutely gorgeous so that's a plus and then i love that riveted steel plate on top that looks amazing come on camera there you go looks great and let me pop it back in you have oh notice how i transform it some people don't like th it this way but i do you gotta push it on the side so that it looks more like an actual crane um and it's a tight uh, tight click there you go. And the same thing you can be done with Inferno and Canadian Inferno. So anyway, you have a little light here. Uh, yeah, you have with the hydraulics, you have a bit of a control panel here for spike or spark plug or chip if he's able to climb up there. And you have the tail light, you have the steel plates on the side here, really nicely done. Uh, the plate, I chose grapple uh, with the three at the end, so JR for PPLE, uh, but you have other options. Uh, you have, let me show you, you have grapple with the uh, the three um, P, P3L instead of P3, PL3, depending how you want to spell it. You have Sun Tower, or well, 5UN, 5 Tower, anyway, and Holler, if you want to, uh, you know, paint this whole guy green and, you know, like a Constructicon and put the Holler, uh, sticker on it you can uh, so great options you have a whole lot of decals here this translates from the foot uh, and then on this side here you have all those little steel plates uh, those control panels for the hydraulics well the you know this the stand uh, this translates from the robot mode and then you have tons of rivet cover uh, it starts with the wheel. That's the only one that the decals will actually, well, Toy Hacks uh, website will actually show you. This is where it goes, but you can put it one here. And then on this side, you have one, two, three, four. You could here, but I chose not to. One more here, one here. Uh, where else? Here. And then the others I showed in robot mode. And there's actually more rivet than there is, or pin that there is cover, so, you know, apply them where you prefer. So, and then the windows, oh my God, look at this. Kind of hard to apply because they're, you know, you have to be careful that they don't glue on the sides, but man, this is a very good look. Ah, you see here, this one kind of unglued a little bit, so I'm gonna have to push it back in. So, but off camera. So fantastic car mode, uh, crane mode. I absolutely love it. So, um, yeah, I'm going to put him back in the uh, robot. Actually, let's do the picture. Totally forgot to show you the before and after. I think it's worth it. It's an absolutely gorgeous improvement to this figure. I have Inferno and Canadian Inferno stickers on the way, and I cannot wait. And then this one's actually $15 US, 
The other are 10 bucks each, so I'm guessing there's a little less decals, but that's kind of makes sense because fire trucks, uh, the, the uh, you know, Art Fire has different paint application. Inferno has, you know, the, the, the head sculpt is, a, is not, you know, the same color as the body, like grapple and everything like that. So kind of makes sense that they have maybe a little less details. Uh, maybe it's harder to apply decal on the, the, the um, oh, what's it called? The ladder. And uh, yeah, so maybe it's harder to apply decals on the ladder, so they didn't do it. I don't know, I haven't seen them yet, but I'm excited for them as well. So let me put this uh, wonderful new guy, you know, it's like a brand new figure now. Let's put him back in robot mode and I'll give you my final thoughts. Let's build it, you and I. What? I said, why don't we? I heard you the first time. In the end, Grapple is a fantastic set. Absolutely, you have to get it. I can't wait to receive uh, Inferno and Canadian Inferno. He's fantastic. That Those two sets are going to be fantastic. I can't wait. So there you go. That's that, that's all I can say. He's amazing. You've, you've seen me say he's amazing 50 times now. So go ahead, grab that uh, toy hack set and have fun. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, subscribe and hit the bell. Also leave a comment. I love reading those. Keep coming back. I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care.